Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw the assembly drawing of footstep bearing. Footstep bearing is a form of the thrust bearing which is used to support the rotating shafts. The footstep bearing is made up of six parts, namely body, bush, shaft, disc or pad, locking plate and screw. So let's read out the question of footstep bearing. Draw the following assembled views of footstep bearing, details of which are shown to 1 is to 1 scale. Front view with right half section, top view and left view. So this is the uh, question. This is the part number one that is supporting bracket in the front view. The bottom is the top view and the top part is the bottom view of the supporting bracket. Next is part number two that is bush in the front view. Then bottom we have bush in the top view. Next is part number three pad. Part number four shaft. Part number five that is locking plate in the front view and the top view. Next, part number 6 that is screw in the front view and in the top view. Now, let's start drawing. So, let's draw the front view of footstep bearing. Now, in the front view, let us draw the first part that is supportive bracket. So, these are the dimensions of the supporting bracket in the front view. Okay. So, first let us draw the bottom part. Okay. The bottom line is of length equal to 170 mm. Okay. Then, we have this height of 17 mm and also at the middle you can see it has the height of 15 plus 2 that is 17 mm right so what we will do is first let's draw this rectangle of length is equal to 170 mm and height is equal to 17 mm so let's select this point here so total length is 170 so when we divide it so we'll get it as 85 and 85 mm on the both the sides of the axis line so we'll mark 85 mm and 85 mm on both the sides of the axis line now let's draw this line now we have to draw the height of 17 mm so, from here we will mark a point of 17 mm and here also we will mark a point of 17 mm. Okay. So, now let us join this one. Like this. Next, next what we will do is, we will draw this upper part, okay. So, as you can see, upper part has the diameter of 94 mm and here at the bottom, it has the diameter of 100 mm. So, what we will do is, from the bottom, we will mark a point of 80 mm, from here, we will mark a point of 94 divided by 2 that is 47 mm and 47 mm on both the points and here at this point we will mark 50 and 50 since the total length is 100 mm. So, from this point we will mark 80 mm 
okay so from here we have to mark 47 and 47 mm okay so let's join this one okay so from this point we have to mark 50 and 50 mm now next is we have to join the top and the bottom okay so we'll mark this point with this one okay then we'll mark this point with this point so next is we have to draw here curve of radius is equal to 10 mm so that is here so we can do it by two methods that is we have to mark here 10 mm and above 10 mm and here also 10 mm and 10 mm so we'll get a point here so using the compass we can draw the arc so that is one method so another method is you can uh, use this uh, circles okay so here since they have given radius as 10 so we have to choose here 20 mm uh, diameter and we can draw this arc so next next is we have to draw this uh, inside part here okay so as you can see the diameter here at the top is 65 and up to 20 mm okay and also from this bottom it has the up to the length of 20 mm it has the diameter of 65 and here at the center it has the diameter of 68 so what we will do is from this point at the top so we will mark a point of 65 uh, divided by 2 that is 32.5 on both the sides and draw a line up to 20 mm from the top and also from the bottom and at the center what we will do is we will mark a point of 34 and 34 mm on both the sides of the axis line so now let's draw this one from the center here so we are marking a point of 32.5 okay so here also we'll mark here next is we have to draw 20 mm from the top and at the bottom so here we'll draw from the top 20 mm okay so then from the bottom also we'll draw 20 mm okay so we'll draw on the other side the same thing so from this point we have to mark again since the diameter is 68 34 and 34 on both the sides so what we'll do is we'll draw a line like this then join to this lines so next is we have to draw this uh, bottom part okay so there is a cutout here at the bottom so the depth of the cutout is 2 mm and then the distance so distance it is given in this bottom view so you can see from the end it is 11 11 from both the sides and from the center it is at a distance of 12 mm that is 6 mm and 6 mm from both the sides of the axis line so now let's draw this one from from the sides we'll mark here 11 mm 11 mm from the center 6 and 6 mm next height is uh, 2 mm so from here we will mark 2 mm so now let us draw this line
next last part left for us in the part number 1 is so this part which is been seen okay so as you can see it is at a height of 20 mm from the bottom okay so that is we already drawn up to 17 here so the, the total height of this will be equal to 20 minus 17 that is 3 mm and to locate this where it is present so we have to see the top view here so as you can see it is at a distance of 127 mm from the axis line so from this axis line it is at a distance of 63.5 and 63.5 on both the sides of the axis line okay so now we have to uh, cal uh, calculate this what is the length of this how much length we have to draw so we will get this again from the top view as you can see here the straight line here is up to the distance of 8 mm okay then there is a arc here you can see outer arc it is of a radius of 12 mm so now the total length will be equal to 8 plus this radius of 12 that is 8 plus 12 that is 20 and here also it will be same that is 12 so total length will be 12 plus 8 plus 12 so that is equal to 32 mm so from here we have to draw 16 and 16 mm on both the sides of this axis line and it has the height of 3 mm so now let's draw this one from the center first let's mark 63.5 on both the sides so here we have marked 63.5 mm so from here we have to mark the distance of 16 and 16 on both the sides okay so uh, then we have to draw the height of 3 mm then join up to this part okay so next repeat this on the other side also so if you want to show you can show here in the dotted line so repeat this on the other side also now let's rub this unwanted uh, part now let's draw the hole here nut hole so you can see we will get the dimensions from here at the center it has the length of 8 mm and from here there is a curve here of radius equal to 6 so total length will be 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 that is 20 mm so from the axis line we have to mark 10 mm on the both the sides so this is the axis line that we have marked so from here we have to draw 10 mm on each the each of the sides similarly we have to draw to the other side also same that is 10 mm on both the sides and then draw the nut hole this completes the first part that is supporting bracket part number 2 that is bush so this is the dimension of the bush in the front view okay so the bush has the height of 77 mm and it has the length here it has the diameter of 76 mm so this will fit inside on the top of this supporting bracket so to draw this this will fit over this supporting bracket so what we will do is from here we'll mark on the axis line so 
so here you can see it is at a height of 16 mm so from this point we will mark the top at 16 mm and from here we can see we have got two diameters one is of 76 mm and the other is of 65 mm so 76 divided by 2 we will get it as 38 mm so we have to mark here 38 and 38 mm on both the sides then we have got one more diameter that is of 65 mm so here we have to mark 32.5 and 32.5 on both the sides so let's now draw this one 16 mm okay so this is the 16 mm so from here we have to mark two points as i said 38 mm then we have to mark two more points that is of 32.5 and 32.5 on both the sides okay now let's join these lines now next on one side we have the length of 16 mm on the other side we have the length of 11 mm and also at this point of 65 mm so we have the length of 16 minus 8 that is 8 mm so let's draw this one so here we have to join to the bottom okay so then at this point we have to draw a line of up to 11 mm right next is from this point we have to mark 8 mm so from here also we have to mark 8 mm okay so next is we have to join this line we have to draw the interior part of this push okay so here it has got the diameter of 50 mm so from here we will mark 25 mm and 25 mm and then we have to draw a length so how much we have to draw 77 minus this 8 so that is we have to draw the length of 71 71 mm so let's draw this one so from here we will mark 25 mm and 25 mm on both the sides and from here so we will draw a length of 71 mm so here also same we will draw a length of 71 mm so next one we have to draw this line okay it has the diameter of 65 mm so we have already drawn this diameter of 65 mm then here we have got the diameter of 62 mm so 65 minus 62 is we will get it as 3 mm so we have to draw here uh, 3 mm and also we have to join this one we have to mark here 1.5 mm and here also 1.5 mm okay so now let's draw this line and join this next again draw this line here then join this and here also we have to draw here a straight line and then join this now this completes the part number 2 that is bush next is part number 3 that is pad okay so now you can see this is the dimension of the uh, pad so it has the diameter of 50 and height of uh, 11 mm okay so this pad will fit inside this uh, uh, bush okay so here it will fit here and also at the top it has the arc of radius equal to 105 mm so now let's draw this one so this will fit inside this bush okay so here you can see this length is 50 mm so what we'll do is we'll mark 11 mm on both the sides 
and then now here we will draw the arc of length equal to 105 mm so from here what i will do is i will mark an arc here on the axis line and from here i will draw the arc like this now this completes the part number 3 that is bush next is part number 4 that is shaft okay so shaft you can see it will have infinite length but it has the same arc as you can see here okay so now let's draw this shaft so as you can see the shaft has the 50 mm of uh, diameter so what i will do is i will draw a straight line from here which represents the shaft and at the top i will show this this completes part number 4 that is shaft next part we will draw is locking plate so this is the dimensions of the uh, locking plate okay so you can see this i will zoom this part so you can see here the height here it is of 4 mm and from the edge up to the center where the nut will be fitting so here we'll get it as 8 mm okay so from here to the end they have not given so we'll take it approximately and then draw this and inside this we have to draw the nut it will be having the height of 1.7 mm okay and you can see here the outer circle has the diameter of 7 mm and the inner circle has the diameter of 3 mm so at the top we have to mark 7 mm and at the bottom we have to mark 3 mm so let's draw this one so the locking plate will be fitting here okay so from here i will mark 4 mm okay so then i will draw a line up to 8 mm will draw a line like this and here i will mark 8 mm for the axis line okay so here i will mark a line for the axis line so here in this axis line we have to fix the screw okay so here approximately we will join this okay so as i said top we have to mark 7 mm and bottom we have to mark 3 mm okay so to mark the top 7 mm so that is 3.5 on both the sides so i have marked 3.5 and 3.5 on both the sides and here at the bottom i have to mark 1.5 on both the sides okay so i have marked 3.5 3.5 mm on top and 1.5 and 1.5 mm at the bottom so next what we have to do is will draw a line like this straight okay so from this figure you can see here we have got the length of 1.7 mm so here approximately will mark from the top of 2 mm okay so here we will join this line 
like this and also we will join here like this. Okay. So, this is the hole for the screw. Next, we have to draw is part number 6 that is this screw. So, as you can see the height of the screw is 10 mm and it has the diameter of you can see here M3 that is 3 mm that we have already marked. So, what we will do here is we have marked here 3 mm. So, from here what we will do is we will draw a line of length equal to 10 mm then join this here and also for the screw we will show this one. Okay. So, now this completes the part number 6 that is screw. Next is let us show the sectional view of the component for that set the drafter to 45 degrees and then at the suitable distance of 2 mm or 5 mm. So, let us shade this like this. So, after shading this part the other part which is present here should be shown in the dotted lines. Okay. So, let us show all these internal parts which are present in the dotted lines. So, after showing the other part in the dotted lines this completes the front view of footstep bearing. Top view. For the top view, first let us draw the projection lines from the front view. So, after drawing the projection lines, uh, first let us draw the part number 1 that is supporting bracket. So, you can see this is the part number 1 that is supporting bracket in the top view. So, it is made up of a rectangle 170 mm length and 100 mm of width. So, we got this 170 mm from the projection lines from the front view. So, what we will do is we will mark here 100 mm and complete this rectangle. So, after drawing the rectangle, so we will make the arc here at the ends. So, the arc has the radius of 10 mm. So, we will make this arc of 10 mm on all the sides of the rectangle. So, next uh, we will draw these holes for the nut. Okay. So, how to draw this? So, this should be drawn along these axis lines the, from the uh, front view and as you can see they are at a distance of 65 mm from each other that is from the center axis they are at a distance of 32.5 and 32.5 mm. So, here we will draw the axis line at 32.5 distances. So, I have drawn the axis lines here at 32.5 mm distances. Now, uh, as you can see the height here it is given as 12 mm and 24 mm. So, the smaller one is at a distance of 12 mm, larger one is at a distance of 24 mm. So, on the axis line we have to mark 6 mm and 6 mm on both the sides and also as you can see there is a distance of 8 mm from the 
central axis that is we have to mark 4 mm and 4 mm from each of the axis length so let's draw one of this one one of the part so let's consider this one here so i am marking here 6 mm and 12 mm similarly on the other side also i am marking here 12 mm and 6 mm okay so and also one more is we have to draw a line here of distances equal to 4 mm so here we have to mark 4 mm on each of the sides so this is 4 mm and here also it is 4 mm so similarly on each of the line we have to mark this okay so then here on the axis so now we have to next is we have to draw the two arcs one has the radius of 6 mm and the second one has the radius of 12 mm first let's draw this arc of 6 mm so first let's take the uh, radius of 6 mm here like this and we have to draw the arc ok next we will take the radius of 12 that is diameter of 24 mm circle so I have taken here 24 mm diameter circle and I have drawn the so this is 12 and this is 24 so I will repeat on the other side also so like this I have drawn the hole for the nut similarly we have to draw this on the other three parts so next in the top view what we have to draw is this cutout ok so the cutout is shown in the bottom view here ok you can see here this is the cutout that we have to show in the dotted line ok in the top view so to draw this one as you can see from each of the side the distance it is given as 11 mm so first we will draw this small lines of length is 11 mm from the edge So after drawing this line so next one is to mark the points ok so you can see here the distance from this point to this point it is given as 97 mm so 97 divided by 2 so we will get it as 48.5 and 48.5 mm that is from the axis we have to mark 48.5 and 48.5 and draw the line on the top and the bottom part and here in the side so it is given as 48 mm ok so that is we have to mark 24 and 24 mm on each of the uh, axis line and draw the lines so let's draw this one
so next is so here we have to draw an arc of radius is equal to 11 mm okay so here we have to draw the radius equal to uh, 11 mm so next one is to draw the center part here okay so you can see here so it has the distance of 12 mm so we have to mark 6 and 6 on the other side and draw the line and at the center we have to draw this arc of radius sorry diameter equal to 25 mm next is let's make these all lines in the dotted form since it is not seen from the top view so here you can see the distance from this axis so here you can see For the distance from the axis here it is given as 8 mm and the length here it is given as 16 so from the axis line we will mark a point at 8 mm and then draw a line of 16 mm next next here what we have to do is from here we have to draw two lines at a angle of 90 degrees so for that best method is we will uh, rotate the drafter to 90 45 degrees and draw those lines and here at the center we have to draw two circles one of 7 mm diameter and the other one is of 3 mm diameter so this completes the locking plate and the screw now this completes the top view now we'll darken all the lines after darkening all the lines and hatching the shaft this completes the top view of footstep bearing next let's draw the side view to draw the side view we have to draw the projection lines from the front view as well as from the top view after drawing the projection lines from the front view as well as the top view now let's draw the left view that is the side view so in the side view first we'll draw the part number 1 that is supporting bracket so here you can see this is the supporting bracket in the front view so here first let's draw the here let's draw the bottom part of the supporting bracket okay so it is easy so we'll get this from the projection lines of the front and the top view so here at the bottom so first let's draw this one so next is to draw the cut out here so which is shown so we have to draw this cut out in the uh, side view so to do this one so same we will use the projection lines here at the bottom so taking the projection lines from the uh, from the side view so we will draw here dotted lines since it is present at the background so we will draw here dotted lines for the cut out so next one in the uh, supporting bracket is that so we have to draw this 
whole part okay so uh, to draw this we have to take the projection lines here from the uh, top view so taking the reference of this so we can draw this part in the side view so from the so from projection lines of both of these two circles in the top view so we will mark a point here in the side view and draw the upper part of this uh, supporting bracket here like this and here also and here inside so it is uh, drawn in the dotted lines So next is we have to draw the we have to draw this part ok so as seen from the top view it has the radius of 12 and 6 so this one will have the total length of 24 mm and inside it will have the length of 12 mm so we have to draw this in the axis line taking from the top view so now here this is the axis line that we have drawn from the top view so here we will have to draw that one so the thickness we will get it from the uh, front view so only thing is we have to mark here total is 24 so 24 divided by 2 will be equal to 12 and 12 mm so this is 12 so I have marked the two points so now I will draw this up to the projection lines here at the top up to this projection lines and I will join this here next for the uh, dotted lines here so one more hole for the uh, nut so what we have to do is here uh, from the same axis line so here we have to mark 6 mm and 6 mm so this is 6 mm and here also we will mark 6 mm so here what we will do is we have to draw this uh, dotted lines here like this see this completes the holes for the nut so we have to repeat this on the other side also So this completes part number one in the side view. Next in the side view, so we will draw the part number two that is bush. So you can see here, so this is the bush in the uh, top view. So first we will draw the upper part, okay. So upper part you can see it has the dimensions of 76 and 65 mm here. So uh, using the projection lines. So we will mark those points and draw the lines. So you can see at the using the projection lines from the front view at the top. So here we will mark here 76 divided by 2 that is nothing but 38 mm and uh, 38 mm. Okay. So next is. Uh, 65 so that is we have to mark 32.5 and 32.5 mm on the top line okay so next is from here what we'll do is we'll draw a line here like this okay next we'll join this up to this point next from here also we'll draw a line next at the top here like this Next the inside point that we have marked so we have to draw this in the dotted lines like this we have to draw this 
line here in the uh, side view okay so we have already drawn this line so taking the projection lines here from the front view so we'll mark those points okay so here uh, you can see that the uh, <coughs> diameter here is 62 and the outside it is 65 okay so 65 we have already drawn only thing is 62 mm that is 1.5 and 1.5 on both the sides okay so here we have to draw 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1 .5 and draw the lines so next one more part in the bush is to draw this inside part where the shaft will fit so it has a diameter of 50 mm so we'll mark 25 and 25 and draw the dotted lines So this completes part number 2. So next is to draw the part number 3 that is pad. Okay. So when we see the pad in the side view, so we can see this line okay, of 11 mm. So let us draw this one. So we will draw this taking the reference from the side view. So we will mark the point here. So next from here we will draw the dotted line. Next is part number 4 that is shaft ok. So the shaft just fits here right up to this point we have to mark it as dotted line and above this we have to draw the straight line. So as I said up to this point we have to mark it as the dotted lines. Next we have to draw the straight line. So up to here we have to mark is the dotted line. Next we have to draw the straight line. So this is I have taken the from the projection lines. So now the part number 4 that is shaft is also completed. Next is to draw the part number for you that is locking plate okay so these are the dimensions of the locking plate so when we see this from the side view so we can see this 16 mm uh, of length and the and the depth of 4 mm so we have to draw this in the projection lines that we have drawn from the top view okay so from the projection lines it sits right here in this part okay so here what i will do is I will draw a line of length equal to length here equal to 16 mm and height equal to 4 mm. So I have to draw this in the dotted lines. So like this. So next is to draw the part number 6 that is this one screw so this is part number 6 that is screw the screw has the length of 10 mm and it has the width of m3 that is 3 mm so 1.5 and 1.5 on the both the sides so here from the axis you have to mark 1.5 and 1.5 and from the uh, axis line here from the front view so we will mark it next taking the uh, diameter of 3 mm that is nothing but 1.5 and 1.5 mm so we'll draw this line dotted line so which represents the screw okay so now this completes the side view of footstep bearing 
so next is we will mark all the dimensions and complete this drawing thank you for watching the video for more videos on assembly drawing subscribe to my channel learn and draw